So what's going on guys, it is JM, it is Speedboxing. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos. Also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions in what I'm saying in any of the videos. Like always, it's appreciated if you guys could drop me a quick sub or two on my channel. So the rematch looks like it's been confirmed between Anthony Joshua and Vladimir Klitschko. Multiple sources online have confirmed it and BoxRec have put it now on their website. And the fight looks like it's going to happen on 11th of November 2017 in Las Vegas in the United States so the rematch will be in the States and this is very interesting because obviously a lot of people didn't know what Vladimir Klitschko was going to do if he was going to retire if he was going to have the rematch with Anthony Joshua because he had the rematch clause in the contract a lot of people are wondering why Anthony Joshua put a rematch clause in the contract because he was the champion it wasn't like Vladimir Klitschko was a mandatory this was a voluntary defense from Anthony Joshua so he didn't have to put a rematch clause in the contract but he did and now Vladimir Klitschko has activated that rematch clause and now the rematch is on for the 11th of November in Las Vegas and I've seen a mixed reaction about this fight a lot of people are thinking why is this fight happening again Anthony Joshua won the fight decisively and in a way he did because even though yeah he was dropped in the sixth round by um, Vladimir Klitschko. He also dropped Vladimir Klitschko in the fifth round and he did eventually get him out of there in the 11th round. And it was really a passing of the torch fight in a lot of people's eyes. So a lot of people are thinking, well, why is this fight happening again? A lot of people are thinking Vladimir Klitschko is holding up the heavyweight division by taking this rematch. Like A lot of people think Vladimir Klitschko should just retire and let Anthony Joshua fight the other young ones in the division like Joseph Parker and John Tay Wilder. Like, they want to see the future of the heavyweight division, not the past. But, looks like we're going to have to see this fight again. Me, I'm not particularly fussed about the fight either way. Because the first fight was a very good fight. It was a very competitive fight. A lot of action. In my opinion, I think Anthony Joshua will win the fight quicker this time around. And I think he'll win the fight more decisively. And I understand why people are thinking they don't want to see it again. Because, at the end of the day... We've already seen it. Anthony Joshua won the fight. It should have been a passing of the torch. But because the first fight was so good, I'm not that bothered about it. You know what I mean? I'm not that bothered that it's happening again. Like, it's not like the fight was a stinker. If it was a stinker, 12 round snooze fest, then I would be more opposed to it. But because the first fight was just so action filled, I'm not really bothered either way. But yeah, it's going to happen again. Vladimir Klitschko is going to have one last crack at Anthony Joshua. What changes will Vladimir Klitschko make this time around? Because at 41 years old, can he make any changes? Because in the first fight against Anthony Joshua, he showed a lot of heart. Heart that he had never really displayed before in his career. Like Vladimir Klitschko was a kind of fighter, very safety first. And when someone had put it on him, he kind of crumbled a little bit. And he didn't like being out of his comfort zone. That's why he spent the majority of his um, heavyweight championship reign in his home countries, well, in his own backyard, fighting hand-picked challenges that he picked. And it was what it was. But if he hurts Anthony Joshua again, like he did in the sixth round of the first fight, will he pull that trigger? Like a lot of people are thinking, because he didn't do it the first time around, he'll never do it. Like if it was his brother Vitaly Klitschko in there, then I think he would have got Anthony Joshua out of there because Vitaly Klitschko was a lot better finisher, in my opinion, than Vladimir Klitschko. But Vladimir Klitschko was a lot more dominant than Vitaly Klitschko in terms of championship reign. But Vitaly Klitschko was more of a warrior in there. He was the kind of fighter, if he got hard, he'd have a fight with you. We saw it when he fought Lennox Lewis. He had a slugfest with Lennox Lewis and was stopped in the sixth round by Lennox Lewis in 2003. But... Yeah, this fight's going to happen. A lot of um, variables go into this fight. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. But in my opinion, I think Anthony Joshua takes him out a lot quicker this time. It is what it is. It's JM. It's Speedbox.